Hey guys, Dr. Markel here. So, you probably caught this live thinking that we were going to be doing some crazy stunts, like I was going to be flying from building to building and maybe rescuing babies out of uh, burning telephone booths. No, he changes in the telephone booth. But he does rescue people. Well, anyways, we're not talking about Superman. But it is human nature when something is wrong, when something hurts, to ask, what's the deal? So, actually, um, hi, Randy. Good to hear from you and see you, I guess, kind of. Or you see me? Creepy? No, I'm just kidding. Glad you're here. So, um, it is human nature to ask when we hurt or when we are in pain, what's going on? What's the problem? Is it a joint? Is it a bone? Is it a muscle? Because then we think, oh, well, it's a muscle. I'll go to massage. Oh, well, it's a bone. I'll go to the chiropractor. It's a joint. Maybe I need physical therapy. So when people come in, even people who are on wellness care, actually, so people who have um, been through corrective care and are now... Um, uh, on a, maybe a lesser frequency or maybe even the same frequency because they just maintain and they know the benefits that they saw before and they wanted to continue that. But nonetheless, people will ask, oh, is it muscular or do you feel like it's in the joint? Where do you think is the... Hey, Justin. You're loyal as heck, man. You're always on here. I appreciate it. But uh, people will ask what I think the problem is. And uh, to be totally honest, the answer is yes. Not to be vague, but the answer is yes. It is all of those things. It is a bone. It is a joint. It is a ligament. It is the nerve. So nothing in our body is separate. This isn't, we're bodies, I often relate our bodies to a car, but really that's too simplistic almost. Our bodies are wicked, wicked smart, and they are constantly working together all the time. And if you don't believe this, we are going to take an ankle sprain for an example. So the most commonly sprained ligament in the ankle is the... <laughs> you have a lot of these questions. Well, I wonder why. <laughs> um, so when we uh, like sprain our ankle, the most commonly... And a sprain, for those who aren't familiar, a sprain is when we damage the ligaments. And a ligament is the fibrous connective tissue that connects bone to bone. When we talk about tendons, that connects a muscle to a bone. So a sprain, like I said, is a bone to a bone. So when we sprain our ankle, either we roll it in or we roll it out, normally the most commonly damaged ligament is going to be um, ligaments called your anterior talofibular ligament. The name isn't really important, but I want to lay it out for you like this. When you sprain that ligament, the ligament connects bones, like I said. So now those bones aren't as stable as they used to be. Well, the bones aren't as stable, the ligament's sprained, those cr the ligament spans a joint, so now the joint is pissed off and inflamed and red and hurting, which, by the way, the pain and the redness and the hurting is only there because the nerve is ticked off. And then, oh, by the way, we have, which one did we already talk about? Oh, the bones are unstable, the joint is inflamed and inf irritated and red, the nerves are irritated and um, the joint. Am I retreat? Did I say all four? I don't know. So, really, when we are asking what's causing the problem, it is a combination of things. It isn't just one thing a lot of times that is giving us discomfort, unless you are in, uh, like, an injury or an accident. And even in that case, yes, you might have an area of damage, of injury, that needs extra attention, extra um, resources, per se, but it affects everything, which, so that's a lot of times, um, the common acronym, I guess you'd say, when people have a sprained ankle is the, the rest, ice, compression, elevation. Yes, we want to rest it to an extent. Have you heard the expression, if you don't lose it, you, you, no, that's wrong. If you don't use it, you lose it. Maybe that doesn't completely apply, but it does apply. Our joints, our bodies, our bones, everything in our bodies was meant to move. And so if we don't continue to move, I'm not telling you to go out and run a marathon with a sprained ankle. 
but I am telling you that I want you to continue maybe just with some gentle exercises, you know, write out the ABCs with your ankle, do some gentle calf stretching, all of the, hi Karen. Also with the icing. So a lot of people, when they have like a traumatic injury, they ice right away. That's awesome. Ice is going to help to kind of dull some of the pain, take away some of like that uncomfortableness. But really, our bodies are crazy smart. So we all think that inflammation is like devil's advocate here and is the root of all our problems. Our body creates inflammation as a response to damage or to bring more resources, more oxygen, more blood, more help to an area. So for the first, I don't know, maybe 24 to 48 hours, by all means, after an ankle sprain, yes, we want to ice that baby. After that, though, ice isn't really doing us. A hell of beans are good because it's actually hindering the healing process. Um, compression, elevation, yes, those are good. So I'm not going to attack those acronyms for now. And this isn't like a, an attack by any means on the uh, commonly accepted treatment. But this is to make you aware that it is not just your knee that hurts when you have knee pain. It might, or it is just your knee that hurts, but it is not your knee that is the problem. That's why a lot of times when people come in here with like extremity problems, um, like we have a gal who is uh, pregnant in our office, but she's a hairstylist. And so she had a lot of shoulder, elbow, wrist discomfort. And we all think, oh, that's from her job. Well, yes, that aggravates her discomfort, but her job isn't the problem so with chiropractic we want to help you do the things that you love we want to help you with the discomfort so you can continue styling hair so you can continue having your desk job so you can continue doing this that and the other thing so when she would come in it was very often um that we wouldn't even adjust her wrist or her elbow or her shoulder not because those weren't important but because or because we didn't care but because those weren't the issues so when it comes to like upper extremity like arm elbow shoulders wrist those nerves all come from neck upper back in here so if we address the signals where those signals come from by adjusting the nervous system making sure that those signals can send freely without interruption a lot of times those symptoms resolve on their own not because we adjusted the elbow or the shoulder but because the nerves that sent the signal that there was pain there is fixed it's back to balanced so um in this it's human nature when something is wrong we instantly go to what caused it, where did it come from, and why? And those are great questions, but I want to encourage you to remember, we are a full system. Everything works together. So it is not just your bone. It is not just your ligament. It is not just, it's not even just a nerve, even though we as chiropractors talk about the nervous system all the time. It is everything together, and it is only if you address everything that we can heal like we need to. So, just some random information for you this fine Wednesday, but enjoy.